outstanding. He was joined me. We went to uh, Memphis this meeting. Had a great uh, halfway through the year meetup, um, seeing a bunch of the uh, other franchises. Makes me thankful for the team that I have and that uh, we, Brian and I, have already put in the years of growing the lawn care business. Because man, is it fun! The first four years. Uh, the most fun. Yeah, the most fun you'll have. Um, so I'm glad we're at where we're at now. Um, thankful I have the guys that I have. What has happened uh, last week um, that might make this week a little different? Any of you know what what we've done to the customers? It's all weekly. Boom. So not all weekly. A good majority of people are going to be weekly. Um, and uh, people's prices went up. Uh, so what does that mean? Uh, we might have a magnifying glass on us. People are looking at us a little tougher or a little um, a little harder because not only do we take their frequency choice away from a lot of them, we also raise their price. So you guys have been doing a fantastic job. I think I've got no actual complaints from a customer except for one last week. So that's freaking sick. Uh, I had one team send a video of another crew. Um, so that's a drastic improvement from where we were two weeks ago. So let's keep it up. Um, a side effect of this price increase, command center had to go through all uh, at least 450 accounts. If you see a mo under half a BH, please screenshot and send it to me or just send me the client's name and say mo under half a BH. Uh, why? We don't want any mo's under half a budget an hour. So if you see it, I need to take it, it's probably gonna be 0.4 something. I need to change it to 0.5. That way you guys have at the minimum a 15 minute stop. So if you see it, send it. Um, last week upon checking the weather, it looked like there was going to be um, rain this week. That's now cleared up. So we're looking good on our four day plan. Uh, the contingency was if it rained a day, I was going to say, let's just take the fourth off and work Friday. But after looking at the budget and hours for the week and the weather, um, I believe we'll be done in four days easily. I'm going to be giving everyone 16 to 18 budgeted hours based on what you've been handling. And uh, please think consistency. Um, to pull it off in four days, you might have to work 10 or 11 hours. Don't sprint in the morning so you're exhausted by the afternoon. Take it low and slow. Let's grind out four days and have another three day weekend because coming in this morning felt great. A lot different than a five day week. Um, which I know some of y'all don't mind, but uh, if you can make a three-day week, um, three-day weekend, why not do it? Uh, so consistency, rain looks good. Um, uh, we had about 40 to 50 people immediately reach out uh, and try to cancel. Brian and I knew if we hit the number 50, uh, the price increase and weekly requirement would, would go from great to okay. So of those 50 people, a lot of them I saved by allowing them to stay bi-weekly. Uh, the amount of team members we have, the more we need as many yards as possible. We wanna be doing 150, at least 150,000 a month, really close, closer to 160 by saving those people and charging them 10 more dollars uh, by allowing them to stay bi-weekly will definitely help with that goal. But we do have uh, at least 200 people who've been switched to weekly. I've already changed the group for the July strike contest. Uh, anyone care to share what that is about? What do you need to do? Well, that's only one part. What's the other part? Send it to group. What are you going to earn? 125 bucks to the winner. Um, so take a photo of your stripes, send them in the group chat. That's all you got to do. And whoever uh, has the best straps, straps, stripes as determined by Brian and myself, you'll get a hundred twenty-five dollar gift card. Um, if someone is more than an hour late this week, or you miss work um, and there's yards to be done, that person will be working Friday. 
So as of right now, uh, there's one person on the chopping block for that. The rest of you are good. Um, so let's oh. grind out these. Two seconds. Yeah. All right, cool. Actually, a little more than two seconds. A lot. So um, <laughs> one of uh, one of the things that uh, we saw on, on the Memphis meetup, when, you know, we got to see Mike. He outlays his vision for Augusta, which is pretty big. It's to increase the level of professionalism in the industry. I wish our uh, TV worked quickly. We could show you this. Uh, is anybody familiar with the the hat that has like the trades? What's the symbol? The symbol for the trades is like a hammer and a. I don't know what it is. Oh, I don't, I'm not sure. That that the means hammer and a square. It's a, it's a hammer and a square. So like, um, you saw the uh, the reel, right? Where the guys wearing the hat. You were in the bathroom. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. So y'all familiar with the trades, right? Like, you know, being a welder, being a plumber, being an electrician, um, and there's a certain level of respect that those guys have, right? They carry themselves with a little bit of confidence. Um, you know, they they're respected members of the blue collar community. Would y'all agree to that? Yeah. And so traditionally, lawn care guys, guys that mow grass, don't really carry themselves with that, that kind of respect. Nor do they they get it right um, so a lot of that is because of how traditionally us in the lawn care industry carry ourselves you know we don't we don't carry ourselves as a whole uh, with a whole lot of respect um, you know starting from the way a lot of people dress when they mow grass I know me personally when I first started uh, I had a cowboy hat I had boots with uh, shorts and no shirt so that was highly unprofessional right just from the look um, you know, trucks were definitely not uh, professional looking, um, busted out windows, stuff like that. Uh, so Mike, he, when he, whenever we get together in a big group, and I'm sure amongst his teams, he always makes sure they know what his vision is. And I'm sure a lot of y'all that have been here could, you know, could say it because y'all know, y'all have heard it a lot, right? Does anybody know what the, the big mission of Augusta is, big vision? Yep, there you go. Increase the level of professionalism in our industry. And so how he's going to do that is by this franchise. Because he couldn't do it by himself. He's just one guy. Even if he was popping up companies left and right, he's not going to get to the level where everybody in the United States knows it goes to long term. So he said the franchise system is the best way that he can do that. And so he also wants to make to where lawn care from the, from the field um, to the owners uh, can make a, a very good living. Um, so to increase the level of professionalism, he's gotta get influence. And how he's doing that is with us as franchises. He's got about 150, 160 right now. His goal is to go to 1,000 within the next probably 10 to 15 years. And so by doing that, everybody's gonna know Augusta. Uh, anybody that's like, like, hey, where are you gonna get your lawn cut? Just kinda like, where are you gonna get the best chicken sandwich? Chick-fil-A, so, so it's gonna be kind of like that. So that's how he's doing it. And then, so of course we're, we're about that. You know, we, we want we want y'all to, it starts with, to be honest with you, it starts with making more money. Uh, we, we attract the best talent. Uh, y'all in the room are the, like, the best talent that, that we could possibly get. And it starts with P2P, right? You make the most amount of money. And so um, then we can also improve that by saying, hey, well, if you want to work here, you can't smoke in our trucks. Um, you know, you've got to learn to, to treat each other uh, with a certain level of respect. You got to treat our customers right. You know, we stand by our quality. All that stuff helps. Um, now, what me and Jeremy want to do personally here uh, with us is with whatever God wants us to uh, to do, as far as like how many locations that He wants us to pop out. That's what me and Jeremy want to do. And what does that do for for us? It allows us to take guys from the field that want to grow with us. To increase their uh, their uh, level of financial, uh, being able to provide for their family, and also allows them to grow personally. Because you're not going to go from the field to managing a location or owning one without a whole lot of personal growth. So it's a, it's kind of a twofer, and one helps the other. So anybody here, like I know uh, Chris wants to be uh, general manager of Aiken. Uh, we're opening that up in uh, January, February. Um, and then also for the, uh, the Augusta market, uh, I'm going to not be the estimator next year. So we're gonna hire an estimator and Jeremy needs somebody in the office. Um, so he's gonna have a, a, an office admin assistant. And we're all gonna do that from the field. 
So it's it's like when we say, hey, if you want to grow here with us, there is opportunity. And so that's just three of the, the opportunities that we're going to be, you know, be having and, and be able to uh, present to our team um, for the upcoming year. Um, so our, our mission, we're going to open up as many locations as we possibly can that, and y'all help with that because if we have people in our team that say, hey, I want more with y'all, I want to grow with y'all, I want to become a GM or I want, uh, you know, to be part of the 3F program, that's going to push me and Jeremy harder to make sure that we have the availability to do that. So I just want to thank y'all. I want to remind y'all of the vision because um, what y'all do matters. Um, and if y'all want a, a, um, a future with us, um, that's that's honestly, that's, that's the, the leading reason of why we, we do what we do. So I just want to say I appreciate y'all and just kind of give you a, a reminder. You'll probably hear that vision a whole lot um, for two reasons. Uh, there's new people that come in all the time. We want to make sure they know. And then also, the more we say it, um, the more um, the more we have to uh, make sure we make it our work. So, <laughs> kind of reminds us that the hard work is for is, is for something. Yeah, we're uh, seven months through the year. It's crazy. Yeah, that is nuts. Yeah. Uh, now, the older I get, the faster it goes. So, um, yeah. I just turned 28. Uh, this year has flown by. Uh, Brian Elroy. Chris, you're getting up there. Uh, do y'all feel like your years tend to? Oh man, I feel like a year is a, is a quarter. I, think yeah. I feel like it's still like three months. It's just gone. Yeah. Maybe, uh, do you feel like your time just every year just, just goes by quicker or more? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, those three months off uh, on the island might, might help you slow, slow down, down a notch. little bit. But uh, seven months in, we've got uh, this month and this month and next month and half of September for 40%. So let's keep grinding. Uh, looks like we're gonna knock all this out, have another three day weekend. Josh, Brian, uh, we gotta make sure y'all have everything you need in P10. Uh, and so let's do it. Let's right. get it. BH is for everybody. You get BH's, you get BH's. What's up,